Well, hi there. You playing on your comeback? I could have been a contender. No, no, no. I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about coming back to church. The church is coming back. Yeah. Uh, you know, stores are opening. Restaurants are opening. Our church is opening. Now, things will be a little limited. Some things will be restricted. But we've got a plan, and it's going to be advertised on Facebook. It'll be in letters, emails, but we're talking about coming back. So your church home will be there waiting for you. Now, that doesn't mean you have to come back immediately if you don't feel comfortable. We want you to stay healthy. We want you to stay comfortable. But Christ United Methodist Church is opening back up. We're going to be having worship, small groups, Sunday school, all with the, the emphasis on safety and meeting all of the guidelines to keep our people safe and healthy, but still give you an opportunity to worship and fellowship in the church. As I said, you got to do what you think is best, but know that we're there. Also, we're going to be having our first men's breakfast in person for the first time since the stay-at-home order went into effect. On the 4th of July, yes, the 4th, on the 4th of July, that will be the first Saturday of the month. We always have our men's breakfast on the first Saturday of the month. And so, at 8.30 on July 4th, we're going to have our men's breakfast. Now, it may be outside. We don't know yet, but it may be outside. Also, uh, the food may be store-bought just to make sure that when you come, you're convinced that there'll be adequate social distancing, food preparation will be controlled, everything will be safe. But we'll have some fellowship, we'll have some food, It'll be a wonderful opportunity to get back together again. Maybe share some victory stories or ask for some help with problems. But whatever it is, it'll be an opportunity to get together if you can make it. Now, we always end by 10 o'clock, so you'll be out of there by 10 in case you want to do something else on the 4th of July. And I'm sure you'll want to do something else than just come and eat at the church and then go home and sit. So hopefully you'll be able to join us. If you're spending the day with your family or you're out of town, something, well, we understand. You got to do what you've got to do to keep your family healthy and keep you healthy keep your relationships intact, but like the church, we'll be open for business 8.30 in the morning on the 4th of July. So if you can make it, be there, okay? Now while we're talking about comebacks, I've got two things to share with you. Two things, two things to share with you about coming back that I thought of. Uh, When we talk about comebacks, we always think about things like repentance, turning around, coming back to the Lord. Well, you know what things are like right now with all the things that are going on in the world. Well, the world is looking for hope, strength, and certainty. The world's in need right now. The world's hurting, and it's looking for those things. Now, Jesus Christ is the sole source for hope, strength, and certainty in this world today. But the world can't really see Jesus unless they see Jesus in us, in the church. So the church needs to come back. We need revival in the church. We need to get serious about the things that we should be doing. So the church needs to come back. But number two... Number two is that you and I need to come back. No matter how close you feel to God right now, or no matter how far away you feel to God right now, you can always be closer. So there's always opportunity to come back. First Peter, the book of First Peter, second chapter, the 25th verse says, For you were as sheep gone astray, 
but now a return to the shepherd and bishop of your souls. We've all come back. And if we haven't come back, we need to come back. And then once we come back, we need to stay back, stay with the fold. We need to get closer all the time. So come back. Come back. In whatever way you feel comfortable with the church. Maybe you're not ready to come back in person. You want to watch some more videos. But think about coming back. Because we can draw strength from one another. Whether it be in church, whether it be in the men's group, whether it be in your Sunday school class. But we draw strength from one another. So come back. Come back to God. Come back. The world needs you. The church needs you. So come back.